Kai! Hello! Hi Kai! Why are you doing still awake? It's super late for you! Like, super, super late it would have to be. What time is it for you Kai? <laughs> Must be some party yeah. Well, hello, welcome. Um shall I just if you drop off just assume you've fallen asleep? Oh yeah, there's a weird possession nightmare. I had these weird dreams last night of just needing to pee. But yeah, that's just me. Clothing therapy. Oh, come to the mayor's house. Peeing dreams are the worst. Yes, because you don't know if you're actually peeing in real life or just peeing in the dream. I say this as a self-confessed bedwetter when I was a child, obviously. But yeah. Oh, Emily likes me now. Same, it's a struggle. <laughs> have you have had like those um falling dreams? Oh, actually, Kai, you fish. Have you ever been fishing in your dreams? No, I don't want to eat you. Not much. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never, like, just, I don't know, started casting or something in your sleep. <laughs> oh, not that you can remember. <laughs> Oh. Let's see. Oh. Uh, have you ever been flying in a dream? I don't know. I suppose I'm always scared of bunk beds. Like, if I'm in a bunk bed, then... No, I don't want to eat you. Um, then I'll just, like, pretend I'm jumping off the bed or something. Used to sleep talk. You don't... <laughs> Sammy. What do you say, like, do you like count or do you like say no, go away or sort of, or is it just entirely dream dependent? Um, no, I don't want you. Here. The most random stuff. <laughs> oh. I've counted in my sleep, or just like yelled out numbers before. I know I've done that, but yeah. Your first roommate had a full conversation. Are you like a sleepwalker, or how come I can't get any hay? Is my hay empty? You never got out of bed. Oh. Uh, I always fear I'd be a sleepwalker. Just. Yeah, sleepwalking. You've sat up. Okay. I don't know where I'd end up if I did go sleepwalking. That's the thing. Okay, I need to get rid of some stuff because I'm getting pretty full. Oh, oh, I'll show you my fish tank, Kai. Okay? You like fish. See, I've got an fish and I've got the midnight squid. And I think that's the spook fish. And yeah, the, the rock one. Yeah, I like my fish tank. I like fish tanks. Yeah, it is beautiful, isn't it? Not that I ever like going to the doctor or the dentist or anything like that, but I do like the fish tanks. <laughs> and the um, apparently I don't know. If you remember the movie Finding? Your dentist doesn't have a fish tank. 
are they even a real dentist if they don't have a fish tank? Mm. I don't know if you remember the movie Finding Nemo. I remember you were trying to guess my age. And just seeing, well, maybe that ages me. But it also was set in Australia. So. But apparently, the fish there was a fish tank in there. But all of the dentist gags, techniques and stuff were real and accurate. This doesn't have a fish tank. <laughs> Actually, I don't think my dentist has a fish tank either. You made me think. <laughs> Do you think you? <laughs> oh, your childhood dentist has a fish tank. Oh yeah. Uh, my dog's had fish tank, but yeah. I, I have a fish tank. I like a real life fish tank, but it's more of an inherited fish tank. Hi, Bubblegum and Sweets. Hi, how are you doing? Thanks for dropping by. How are you this fine night, morning, day? <laughs> we were just talking about how we just re realized, thank you, I like my garden. Oh, I have a real life garden too. I'm growing blueberries. I thought that was just something I had to share with everyone. Yeah. Oh, we were just talking that um, we just realized our dentists don't have fish tanks. Yeah. Yeah, I hope they ripen too. Uh, this picture is actually from a couple of days ago. So they're a bit bigger now, but they're not blue yet. But yeah, I have blueberries. Why are you so mean to me? Um, want a feather? No. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm I'm growing blueberries. Um I'd like to say I had tomatoes, but they didn't really Well, they were green. They just didn't really turn red. Well actually they were meant to turn yellow, but they didn't turn yellow. Bree's family home is near water, so they're a saltwater tank. Oh wow. Salt water tank. They always seem like so high maintenance. Like, okay, fish tanks are a little. Okay, compared to a dog, fish tanks aren't really that high maintenance, I suppose. But salt water tanks seem so much more high maintenance than just the freshwater tank. Um, artificial. Oh, catch five sardines. Oc octopi that they catch. And not sure if they eat them after all. So like um, in The Simpsons how there's like the, the lobster that Homer sort of fattens up and then gives a hot bath. <laughs> Fine. You are a terrible gift. Ooh. Um. Ooh. <gasps> What's this? Clothing therapy. <laughs> Probably wondering what is clothing therapy. Try explain. So many of us are struggling with personal issues, holding us back. No. Sammy's parents have ready. Oh, you're gonna get a turtle? Like, a tank with turtles? Oh, that sounds adorable. Like, a big turtle or a small turtle? Oh, sorry. Duff expression. 
racks of racks of clothes. Oh. Oh, feel confident in yourself and your choice. Oh, they get a rock, but they're not. Yeah. Actually, I know someone who had turtles. Actually, when I was in Japan, there was, um, the, my, um, workplace had, like, a tank with, okay, I don't know if it was a turtle or a tortoise. My Japanese isn't that good. Um, but, yeah, they had, like, a, maybe four to five inch shell width. Okay, so that's about... Millicent, hi! Hello, thank you for dropping by! Hang on, four to five inches. Six inches is 15 centimeters, it's about 10-ish centimeters. Hi Millicent! Okay. But yeah, no, they had, um... Hi, how are you? We, we are going good, we're talking about turtles. And maybe, uh... Having a tank. It's not a fish tank because it's a turtle tank, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, we, we nicked like lettuce from the <laughs> real starchy belly birds. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, um, Bubblegum, uh, Millicent, and Kai also stream Stodgy Valley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm getting better at converting just for you, Kai. Um, yeah. Nah, that sounds like a... I know you have like those miniature turtles, but then like just sometimes things are miniature, but they're actually just babies. They're not miniature. And Oh, is that one of Eggie's em um, emotes? <laughs> oh no. Oh. Yeah. I didn't know you could use other people's emotes. Can I use other people's emotes? Oh, I can. Uh, hey, I can use other people's emotes. Huh. Wow. Oh. This is from Uni. Um, she also streams Tachi Valley. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Bubble, there's a, there's a few there's a few of us who are all Stardew Valley <laughs> fans. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, Clint's got a beret. I have crocheted a beret like in real life. And I have finished it. It took me several years, but I have finished it. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to break out of my shell. <laughs> Crochet your tape rope. Uh, so Millicent, I'm one of those people who like starts like 10 projects and then finishes one eventually. <laughs> so I think I still have about 10 unfinished projects. Oh, Bowl, you haven't finished the game yet? You're not sharp. I don't know how... Does this game even finish? Yeah, I don't know if this game even finishes. Um, but I think I'm on... Uh, I think it's... I think I'm year 4. Um, let's get some Okay, I'm gonna catch some sardines. Yeah. I don't know if this game does finish. Do I of you know? Oh, you were just looking at the hood. Oh, you're crocheting a hood? Wow. Oh, I'm trying not to start any new projects because that will add another project to the list of unfinished projects and in fact just trying to finish the projects I've started but haven't yet finished which seems to be a lot <laughs> but we'll get there 
You'll get there. I've got a shawl I've been crocheting for <laughs> a good few years. It's <laughs> um, first two years for fashion. Oh, is this the game? So, ah, that's right. There's all these people trying to get um perfection on their streams and like doing it really quickly too. Um, yeah. So, Bubble, if you look at um all the different Stardew Valley streams, you'll see like. Oh, what do they call them? Speed uh, speed runs, and they're yeah getting to perfection as fast as they can, but which involves a lot of just sleeping while you're waiting for your crops. <laughs> but I'm yeah I'm not in a rush. I didn't realize there was perfection. So oh, you're going to bed now. Oh. Well, lovely to have you join us today, Bubble. We'll see you again. Good night. <laughs> if Bubble doesn't stream Stardew Valley, I think Bubble should stream Stardew Valley. <laughs> we'll start a group Stardew Valley stream, hey? Put some bait on your hooks. Kai, you are a you are a bait fisher, aren't you? Are you a lure fisher? I can't remember. <laughs> you can play multiplayer. Yes. Um. Still, actually, just need to find the time to play. <laughs> I I had a look at when my last my last stream was a month ago, apparently. Um, well, a month short two days ago, so I let's just try to find the time. <laughs> there you go. Work, work has has its perks. Um, then just yeah, life in general. Mostly bait, you try to use lures. Oh yeah. Time is definitely an enemy for many. Yeah, but it's like... Eh. Like, I don't work like 24 hours a day, right? So I still... There's always a bit of leisure time, but it's just... You have no idea what I'm doing when you play. <laughs> uh, I don't really have much idea what I'm doing either. I'm just... Waltzing around. Yeah, I'm not doing a speed run, so it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's for fun. Um, I don't know what I want to do. Um, hmm. <laughs> oh. Where are we? Okay, may uh, it's eight o'clock. I might just try to collect some grass because I might be short on hay. Okay, I have run out of hay. That's why I wasn't getting any. Hmm. My animals can be so needy. It's like they always want to be fed or something. So, I have got to the witch part, and now I've got all of these things attacking me, and I don't appreciate being attacked at my own farm. <laughs> oh. Okay, aren't you generous? Um, we'll chuck you. Um Okay, we chucked you too. Okay, now I want the copper bar. Eh, we chucked you. <laughs> Anyone appreciates being attacked. Yeah. 
Have I ever done like martial arts in any form? Like you're kind of being attacked, but it's like in a safe way attacked. Okay, where are we? Where are we? That's fair, yeah. Oh, and then there's, there's, there's of course rules on how you're being attacked, so it's not exactly unexpected that you're being attacked. Fully consensual being attacked. Where are we? Oh yeah, I was going to charm someone. Who was I going to charm? Oh yeah, Emily's my girlfriend now. That's why she invited me to a fashion show. Harvey. I was going to charm Harvey. Okay. Um. Okay. It's late for me. Okay, it's late for everyone here. But, one more day, and I'm going to charm Harvey. So now I will have Elliot as my boyfriend, Emily as my girlfriend, and Harvey as my boyfriend. Um, get the sunfish in here. Do I have a sunfish? Oh, I don't have a sunfish. Okay. Uh, well, I'll put him in here. Where do I put my sun? I just put my sunfish in here. Okay. Um, hang on. What do I want to do? Let's get you set up. Hey. Where are we? Oh, I was going to collect stuff from my barn. Hmm. He's thinking about with your um, turtles, your miniature turtles. How like people, there was that phase of like the miniature goats and the miniature pigs. And turns out that the miniature isn't actually that miniature. Or they're just in fact babies. <laughs> I have not fallen for the miniature animal trap, and nor do I intend to, but I have acknowledged how tempting it is. Had similar experience. Yeah, the teacup pigs. That was a gag on. Okay. I'm gonna guess how old you are, how I met your mother with a teacup pig. Apparently, that was the best pickup line. I reckon a normal pick would be a pretty good pickup line too. So I don't know. I think some people will just like pigs, and some people won't like pigs. I think pigs are. I don't know if cute's the right word, but definitely smart. Pigs are smart. Actually, aren't they like? Like the most intelligent farm animal or something like that? I don't know how they rate intelligence, but wasn't it something like that? I can't remember. Yeah, you believe so? Yeah, because it's when, when pigs escape, they're like terrible for the environment and everything. Because they actually know how to survive in the environment. I'm not sure how it's decided. Yeah, I don't know how they decide like intelligence tests either. I suppose it's like how we have all of the um, IQ tests, standardized tests and everything. It's always... Do you... Do you actually, do you like do you the whole IQ testing things? Like to see what your IQ is or compare IQs with other people? Never done one? I think we did it in primary school or high school. I can't remember either. Ooh, training. Okay, we're gonna charm Harvey. Because I need another boyfriend. Hmm. 
Yeah, you've always been curious. I'd always be worried about the... You don't think you've ever done one either, Millicent? Yeah. I suppose I'd always be worried at like the sort of people I'd bump into. Oh, I got coffee. <laughs> I got coffee. Okay, let's... Um, put you in there. You had a proper MBTI test done. What's an MBTI test? I've not heard of that. Like, I think the only test I really did recently was a blood test. I don't think that counts as a test. <laughs> ah, a personality test. Ah, oh. ah, oh, the like the Briggs Myers or something. Yeah, the personality one. I think I know the one you're talking about. I can't remember what I was, but I do remember doing it. Hey, I think I was. That's the like, um, uh. Yeah, INFP. I think I was I I N so it's intuitive introvert intuitive N was oh F. Um Hmm. Ah I N T J. I can't remember what T was. I think F was feeling and P was perceptive and J was judgmental? Was it something like that? I don't remember this. Oh, it's just really straining my memory. <laughs> Actually, I feel like everything's been straining my memory recently. <laughs> but, oh. Use it or lose it with your brain, isn't it? No. Oh. Do you remember all those like BuzzFeed sort of personality quizzes and everything? Which I'm pretty sure were like just an introvert. Oh, that's right. Introverts, um, extrovert, intuitive sensing, feeling, thinking, perception, judgment. Yeah, I remember this. Oh. Th that that personality test was like from World War Two, like for jobs then, wasn't it? It's I remember it was really old. I don't know, that's really old, but I suppose it depends on your time scale. Ooh, dinosaur egg. Oh, where's my milk? I don't have any milk. Where are we? Oh. I like the, um, no, what is it? Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff one better. Oh, I know. I've been getting used to. I don't know. Harry Potter's sort of just one of those book, well, book series that just kind of go back to whenever I want to read something. Like, you know what's going to happen. Obviously, because you've read it before, but just have to read it again for some reason. Okay, Elliot. No, this isn't Elliot. This is this one's Harvey. Okay, we're gonna get Harvey to be my boyfriend. <gasps> Haven't read them in so long. <gasps> oh, Harvey's my boyfriend now. Harvey's my boyfriend. Uh. Oh, thank you, Harvey. Oh, I didn't know you felt the same. Oh, have you read anything interesting in the library? <gasps> We've just been reading Harry Potter, obviously. Actually, I haven't read Harry Potter that recently. 
Millicent, your introvert enjoyed a feeling perceptive. It makes you a mediator type person. Ah. So would that make you like a Hufflepuff? I'd say a Slytherin, but I wouldn't say that's a mediator either. Although you could say that's a Gryffindor thing, because mediation can be pretty tough. <laughs> it's been a long time since you've read them. Oh. Um, I read a book. It was a really good book um, recently. All Things Left Unsaid. It's an Australian author. Um, I think she's in Melbourne, but she grew up in Sydney. Um, Slytherin. <laughs> <laughs> Ambitious. Oh. But yeah, Kai, I think you'd like it. And yeah, Millicent, you like books, so I'm sure you'd like it too. But it's it's very cleverly written. Um, yeah, All Things Left Unsaid by Tracy Lynn. But yeah. It's it's got like a little bit of that like murder mystery sort of thing. But like it, it doesn't uh Okay, it did. It's not like NCIS where you have like all the detail, or Criminal Minds, so you have like all the big details of the murder and stuff. But it's not a movie, it's a book, so you wouldn't have that anyway. Well, it's. <laughs> yeah, it, it's not. It's it's about a murder, yes. Um, but it's not like. Yeah, it's. There is a murder. It, it, okay, the key key event, I suppose, is a murder, but it's not a murder mystery. Although it kind of is, because you don't know, because you're trying to find out who the murderer is. Okay, fine. It is a murder mystery. Um, well, it's it's not a typical like Agatha Christie sort of book. Agatha Christie books are also my sort of go-to books, so that's probably also why I liked it. Um, but it, it also, it goes on a lot about um, sort of the, uh, what's it called, Vietnamese community settling in um, Australia. So it's a little bit historic. Um, yeah, a little bit historic and a little bit murder mystery-ish. And just, yeah, a lot of social observations which were right on point. Like... <laughs> I'll write it in the chat. Um. But yeah, all all of the observations were like a hundred percent accurate. Like there's a character named Jimmy Carter in the book and it's so he's a um, and it was yeah he's Vietnamese but it's because the UN official thought it would just be easier for everyone if he had an like Anglo name and it's like okay so who's the president Jimmy Carter okay I want the president's name if I'm gonna get a name that's not mine I'm gonna get the top name so Jimmy Carter it is and then on reflection of had he have known that Australia had a pres had a prime minister, not a president, he would have asked who's the prime minister's what's the prime minister's name, not the president's name. <laughs> but yeah, no, there's like there's like a bit of humor, but it's not like dark. Hu well, no, it's not really dark humor, but it's like social observation humor, I suppose. Um, and it changes. Ooh. Abigail. Oh, Abigail. Oh, no doing some work. I'm gonna be confrontational. Hmm? Oh? Oh! 
we're gonna play the fleet together? Oh, what's this? What's this in the corner? There's like a fish leading some... That's cool. I'm just kind of watching the curtains of rain whisper on a silent lake. Hmm? A mini harp! Hey, where did I get the mini harp? That was interesting. No. <gasps> okay, Sebastian. Okay, Millicent, I have no idea how you managed to charm Sebastian every game because I can't seem to ever find him out of his house. Okay, you like coffee. Everyone loves coffee. Oh, thank you, Sebastian. <laughs> Let me talk to you. I want to talk to you. Why can't I talk? Okay, fine. Don't talk to me. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, where am I with hearts? <laughs> Elliot's my boyfriend. Harley's my boyfriend. Emily's my girlfriend. Ah, oh, you play Animal Crossing? How is it? Yeah, how? Okay, I want Leah next. How is Animal Crossing? Because I... Well, I don't have a Switch. So, I don't play Animal Crossing. But I'm considering it. Let me do a mushroom. Because we like you. Fine. No gift for you. You're having a shower. Yeah, how... How are you finding Animal Crossing? I'm, it's all my games to consider, but just, I don't have the time to play a lot of games. <laughs> mm. Mm. Let's go, basta. Yeah, I, I would love more time to myself so I could play games or just do something that's not housework or work. I seem pretty limited at the moment. But that's okay. That's okay. I'm sure I'll get there in the end. Where are we? Oh, I need to plug in my computer. There we go. Yeah, I'm one of those people who lets their laptop run very, very dry. <laughs> Red snapper. Oops, wrong one. Actually, I'm going to make some sashimi. I'm going to do some cooking. Sit with Sammy. Oh, hi Sammy. Why did you wake up Sammy? <laughs> Why did you wake up Sammy? She was sleeping. Hehehehe. <laughs> 
Oh. Oh, you know all of Sebastian's favorites, don't you, Millicent? The possession dream. I don't think I... Okay. Do you lucid dream by any chance? Like, I don't think I've had, like, a possession dream, but I'm, a norm I'm normally a lucid dreamer. So it gets... I don't know weird's the right word, but apparently that's not normal. Oops, to piss, that sounds nice. Oh, sleep paralysis, that's not fun. I, I don't know, that sounds terrifying, actually. Fishing stew. Oh, sometimes you're her demon. <laughs> that's not very nice. Oh, and it freaks. Yeah. No, I. I I know I can be easily spooked, so I'm happy I don't get spooked too often. Not necessarily just things. Oh, uh, yeah. No, I I get that too. When like, so. I live in Australia, and. There's always wildlife outside. Yeah, no, I wouldn't be saying either. Um, but like, yeah, we'd have... Possums make a really scary noise. It's like a... <laughs> it's like someone like just laughing at you. Like, it's a scary noise. And I didn't know what it was at first. Uh, but yeah, it was... Oops. Yeah, it was a possum. And it sounded so creepy. And it would startle me every night. I'm a lot better now, but yeah. Possums are terrifying. Yeah, they are terrifying. Super adorable, don't get me wrong, but terrifying. I'm told koalas make a um, scary noise as well, but. I, I don't think I've heard a koala at night. Or I might have, but I just didn't know it was a koala. Ah, uh, let's make a sunflower oil. Mm. It's coming into... Actually, it is spring now. I'm going to plant some sunflowers. Like, in real life sunflowers. But yeah. Oh, uh, did I show you my blueberries? I've got blueberries. I'm just super happy I've got blueberries. Um, they're... Where's my milk? But yeah, they're, they're in a pot, so it's growing... Growing okay. Uh, but yeah, I've got blueberries. Where are we? Working on the veggie patch. Oh, you're gonna grow tomatoes, wow. I've got tomatoes too, actually. They they were in the compost, and they just grew in my lemon next to my lemon tree. I have a lemon tree, so and the lemon tree has flowers. So I'm gonna get lemons soon. Well, I suppose that's a don't count your chickens before they hatch. So hopefully, I will have lemons soon. Yeah. I like it when things grow. Like, it's sort of... It's a sense of accomplishment. And also, like, hey, I can indeed feed myself. Okay. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna call it a night at the end of this day. Because it is late for all of us. Where are we? Let's go. Let's go some flowers. If the world goes crazy, I could feed myself. Yeah! Not to sound like a prepper or anything. Um, but if prepping is your thing, then go ahead and be a prepper. Um, no. I, I'm, I'm not the sort of person to have like, a, like an underground bunker or... Hand, yeah, it is a handy skill. Yeah. So... Yeah, no, I, I'm not one of those, let's have a bunker, but 
I'll have like an extra couple like of everything like I don't need to worry about toilet paper for instance because I normally buy the big bulk pack yeah lots of seeds but your ally is not a prepper <laughs> Yeah, actually, I've got lots of seeds too, because I was very optimistic in my ability to grow things from seed. <laughs> um, but I'm thinking when... <laughs> yeah, because, like, and it's really easy to justify in your head as well, because you can buy a packet of seeds, and it's only, like, a couple dollars. But then you end up buying, like, ten different things, and then it's, like, fifty dollars. And then, like... The success rate, which is rather low, so it doesn't actually look that great, but yeah. <laughs> but still, like, hey, I can grow my food and it costs twice, well, it costs more than twice. It costs more than what it would cost if I just bought it from the shop, and not to mention the resources that went into it as well, and then the time. So, you can't say it's exactly because I'm being environmental, but I'm not trying to trash the environment or anything. Yeah, I'm not sure it works out cheap. I suppose it depends on your success rate. I haven't got that great of a success rate. <laughs> Actually, I had a pretty good harvest of ginger this year. I'll, I'll post a, I should post a picture, but uh, I've been trying to post things on Instagram now. Um, but ginger last year and during COVID, well, before we said that COVID still existed, it was like $50 a kilo. So I planted some ginger and now ginger is like $5 a kilo. Am I following? Um, I don't know if, I'm, if you follow me on Instagram. I only, I opened it a little while ago, but I only updated it today. So it's, I'm still, still, still working on it. <laughs> but yeah, like last year I could have said I had $150 worth of ginger and that would have sounded really impressive. And now this year it's like, I have $15 worth of ginger. It doesn't sound anywhere nearly as impressive because I'm pretty sure I use at least $15 in pots, potting, mixed water and everything to grow said ginger. But still. I grew about three kilos of ginger. So about six pounds of ginger, Kai. Um, I'm, I'm impressed with it. Okay, this is me for the day. Me for the night. <laughs> Ew. Truffle oil gets good. Okay. Oh, yeah, thanks for dropping by. It's been a while. I've been, yeah, busy. Yeah. Thanks for dropping by, Millicent. Good night. And Kai. Oh, I'm going to say bye. Kai, thanks for dropping by. Oh, sleep well. And sleep well to Sammy. And Bubble, sleep well. Bye.